Okay. So I couldn't help myself. I know. I was not planning on doing Lattice Hawaii, but I thought this game was so much fun. As you can tell by my Instagram live, I really enjoyed it. So what I'm going to do is we're going to bump this game review up. If you're curious about Lattice Hawaii, <laughs> give this video a thumbs up, like and subscribe and join us for Lattice Hawaii. The first part of the video, we're actually going to unbox it again. I'll show you the contents. I've played this game, so I have, you know, more insight, you know, as to the game itself. Then we're going to continue with the actual gameplay. There was one rule going to change for the future so you don't want to miss the gameplay because after the gameplay I'm going to show you what I didn't like and then I'm going to show you how we are going to change it and then number three I'm going to share with you my overall opinion so without further ado Lattice Hawaii as you saw from the actual unboxing um I like this the box is gorgeous I mean it just makes me think of a vacation another thing that caught my attention was look at this lip latch magnets look so easy i'm not looking for my box cover i know i do that give me a thumbs up if you're like me i'll actually take off the box and be like oh my goodness where's the lid <laughs> it's just a little thing that gets me every time but look flip it open close it nothing's lost inside the box is the instructions i liked it the instructions were not only easy to understand which is a huge plus for me, but they come with like nice pictures and illustrations. So that was a huge bonus. Um, we have the board, I'm gonna open it up. It's kind of big, which again, I like that. Kind of big over here. And that gave us nice room to play. Next, every player got their own um, little, I guess, tile holder, which that was so nice. It was just not necessary, but such a nice feature. Then again, we have the sand timer. Didn't add much to our game, so got rid of the sand timer. Um, <laughs> but that's not the rule I'm talking about. Then we had stones. There is the yellow sunstones, which are oops, two points. And there are the blue stones, which is one point. And they're pretty, and they're a pretty nice size. And of course, last we have the tiles. Just something I'd like to mention about the tiles. Um, the whole game is beautifully designed and these tiles are just little white tiles with a sticker stuck on it. Now, yes, the tiles are gorgeous as I'm gonna show you. So it didn't really matter much per se because they're gorgeous. But in terms of quality, the way they presented this game, it was like, really, I wish it was like, I don't know, like printed on the tile itself. Got the wind tile. but. That was so minor, so let's actually take a pause here, give this video a thumbs up, and head over to the gameplay. Lattice Hawaii is a really simple game to play. I bought this game because it really fulfilled this promise as to being a simple strategy game. So you start off by placing the board in the center of the table, and for our sake, we're just gonna move it a drop over. Now every player gets their own board their own rack and something that i found different was instead of a central drawn drawing pile every player is given where the tiles are split up equally amongst the players and the players draw from their own tiles just something different so we all get seven so it would be one two three four five oh five my apologies five tiles and here are the five tiles and it's really simple. The first player will go and they'll start off, put a tile on the board, and then of course, draw another tile. Now, they would go and try to match the next tile. So it's really simple. You have to match either the color or the shape, and after you do so, you draw another tile. So as you could see here, it's kind of like a grid. It's really simple and, again, basic strategy. So the question is, where does the actual strategy come in? And I am going to tell you, the actual strategy comes in when a player can match two or more colors or two or more things. For example, if this was in here and the player were to place it here, they would get a point or double the points. And I'll share with you the points in a minute. 
Right now, we're just, again, laying the tiles. Ooh, we got this one, and there's no lizards on the board. But we have a flower. Oh, if I put it here, again, bonus point. So how do we get the points? It's really simple. Now that we're playing the game, I, as the player, match, let's say, a color. And in which case, I get one stone. Super simple. One point for me. If I match one more, I get one stone. If, however, it works out over here, where I, based on the color, can match two things, then lucky me, I get a sunstone, which is two points. And as you guessed it, if I play it on the sun, I also get a sunstone, which is two points. Now, this is the rule I'm telling you didn't really catch our attention. You can't have more than two sunstones, which, in a way, there are ways around it, and I'm going to tell you the ways around it. For example, if I can't have more than two sunstones and I was able to match something else, then I qualify for a bonus, and the bonus is the wind. Ooh, I get a bonus wind. Now, what's the wind for? Let's say there is a tile on the sun. Let's see, you know, let's move these away. Let's say there is a tile on the sun, and I only have one sunstone. So I'll take the wind and blow the tile to another location so I can then put the piece that I want on the sunstone or next to it to get me more points. So, like I said, it's really simple. You match the pieces, you collect your stones. If you have two sunstones, you can either A, skip that turn, or B, collect a wind. A wind allows you to blow tiles away and to put your stone where you want it. So, like I said, I bought this game. It's a simple strategy game. The only thing I'm going to change is the point system. I found the points, we played this game, and everybody ended up more or less with the same amount of points. Not cool. Because you know what? There's no strategy. Once I collect my two sunstones, why am I going to bother getting rid of the rest of my board? So here's what we're going to do. What we did was we actually, or we will, we didn't do it yet, are going to order more stones in the yellow and in the blue. And we are going to take away the cap on the sunstones and on any stone. Because reality is, if you're a better player or better at strategy, you deserve more points. And here's how it's going to work. If you match, or however many things you match, you get that many points. For example, this red one matches the blue, so that's one. Matches the flower, so that's two. Matches the red, so that's three matches the green, so that's four, and matches the flower, so that's five. So if this was in here, and I chose to play it here, I would then get five points. So what I'm doing is, is changing the rules to increase the strategy, increase the observation, and most importantly, make better use of the wind tiles. Now, if you have Lattice Hawaii, let me know what you think of this game and uh, with this new rule. And let's head over to my overall opinion of Lattice Hawaii. So, what do I think of Lattice Hawaii? One, love it. Two, you decide. Three, stay away. I'm actually going to give this a 2.5. I know, not exactly helpful, but I'll tell you why. Number one, in terms of design, beautiful. The racks over here, Stunning. Like the kids love not having to look through cards. They love just sticking it down here. And you know what? I love the ease. I was able to play with little kids who could just match the colors and older kids who understood the strategy. So huge fan of the game. I love the gameplay. It is exactly what I wanted. A simple, quick strategy game. Now, the reason why I took away a half a point, because this game really should have been a perfect game, was the point system. And I really mentioned it. Um, I think in a strategy game like this, the kids should work for every point. They need to think, they need to strategize, and they need to work for the points. So, 
buy this game, highly recommend. Check out the links below. I'm also going to leave links to more gems because like I said, with a game like this, let's let the kids work for their points and let's let them get tons and tons of points. So in the description box, head over there right now. If you're gonna purchase this game, purchase the gems as well and head over to my Instagram account where you could share with me how your kids loved Lattice Hawaii. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe because we do a game review every single week. There are so many games in the market and gaming could get costly. So I'll buy the games, I'll do the reviews, you watch the video and save yourself some money by actually getting a game that fits you and your family's needs. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a good day.